Hey guys, so today we're going to go over how to book a load on the DAT DAT load board, whether or not the load will be profitable, how to calculate the profit, how to put loads together, figure out fixed cost, variable cost, and is it even worth doing in the first place? Okay, so for me, for instance, I want to pretend I have a truck in Wilmington tomorrow with a flatbed trailer. So I'm on the DAT load board for one freight. I am going to search loads here. So the origin, I'm going to put in Wilmington, Delaware. I'm going to search within 30 miles of Wilmington, Delaware. And for a destination, I'm going to use these. So these are all different locations across basically everywhere besides the West Coast. Um, so this will allow for a larger search. And I'll just make that within 450 miles. And you have your types of trailers you can use here. We are going to just use flatbeds because they pay a little bit better right now. So this will be hopefully optimistic, right? For date, we're gonna just choose load that's picking up tomorrow. And then we're gonna search. Okay, so we have a bunch of our loads here. And we're gonna see, you know, kind of what we can do, right? So I see this one uh, kind of catching my eye, Bear Delaware to Providence, Rhode Island. Um, this is Landstar, eh. But um, what you would do basically here is I would open up this load get the information and what you could do is it has a phone number here so I would call and say hey this is Amadeo from Base Carriers was just calling about a load you guys have going from Bear Delaware to Providence Rhode Island they would say okay yeah that load is still available what's your MC number my MC number is blah 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 and they would say okay the load picks up at this time delivers at this time it, Let's say it needs like tarps or something, and it's got straps or chains or blah, blah. They give you the information on the load, and you say, okay, yeah, I see you guys got it posted for 1400 Can we book it? And then they would say, yes. Uh, if you guys are set up with us, good. If not, I'll send you over a carrier packet. You can fill that out and email it back to me. Okay, yeah, can I get your email? And I'll, you know, fill out the carrier packet. So that's really it. You fill out the carrier packet, get the Raycon, get the load. Uh, that part's very, very easy, so do not pay for a class to teach you how to just look at a list of things and call. So, alright, so we got 1400 bucks, and what we want to know is, can this even make money, right? So, it's from Bear Delaware to Providence, Rhode Island, right? So I actually already put this in here, so it's still up there. So, I'm using Trucker Path right now to try to figure out the tolls on this. So, I don't really trust the fuel, but... I'm going from our site, you know, 501 Grashes Lane, in Delaware. The pickup is in Bear, Delaware, and then we're delivering in Providence, Rhode Island, right? So we have, I'll ignore the time, kind of two, um, 334 miles, $147 worth of totals, right? So I just kind of threw this together, a little profit calculator. Uh, you can make your own. So uh, basically miles per gallon. 6.195 average fuel cost four dollars twenty cents average cost of fuel per mile 68 cents maintenance 15 cents per mile in reality this will probably be higher i know that people like to calculate their maintenance based on pms but it is more so but we'll use the 15 cents so for tolls there we had 147 bucks to get to providence based on that route 147 for the driver in this case, we're just going to assume, you know, 350 bucks. We'll just assume, you know, 1099, 350 a day, just for the sake of simplicity. And then we have the revenue, 1400, the miles, 334. Okay. Let's just put in like a total cost here. Da, 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 da. So our driver cost plus our toll cost plus, you know, total mileage. Say total mileage multiplied by the total of maintenance plus fuel because we're only doing the variable cost here right so mileage times that so total cost 773 so and if you divide the total cost by the mileage you get two dollars and 32 cents of variable cost per mile and the cost per day I have in here as 773.54 because it's only 
one day. And then, so basically, for your net profit on variable cost, no fixed cost, you take 1400 you subtract the 773 of cost, and your net profit would be, gross profit, let's say, would be 626.46. So that seems pretty good, but we don't have our fixed cost in there, so I'll add that in a different video, but still just kind of going through. I added this section here too to kind of show like maybe we can go through a couple days here, right? So let's say now our guy is, you know, unloaded. So he loaded up on Monday. He's unloaded, let's say Tuesday morning. Um, first thing Tuesday morning. Now we're in Providence, Rhode Island, and we want to go any one of these places too. So, and I'll just change the date from Monday to Tuesday. Uh oh. So not too much going on. Um, how could this be? I'll make it a little bit bigger. So let's just do 75 miles. Okay, search. Cool. Um, so this works out pretty well. Elkton's real close by to where we are, I know. Um, that looks like it'll probably be the best spurs points a little bit farther. Um, I don't like the new way that they have it laid out on here with that. It makes it a little bit harder to book, but um, you know, I know that this is pretty good. If you're 38 miles away from uh, so it's 38 miles away from Elkton, Maryland. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the route, right? All right. So I've added everything into the route, right? So we're starting now. Let's like, it's Tuesday morning, right? So we're starting in Providence, we're unloading, then we're picking up in Ashland. We're going to Elkton and then we're coming back to, uh, you know, D150 here, right? So, um, this is 397 miles, $169 worth of tolls. So... We're going to go ahead and add that into our spreadsheet. Okay, so we have 397. The revenue on this one was 750 before negotiation. So we'll just put in 750 there. This is from Ashland, Massachusetts to Elkton, Maryland. So this is day two okay so i duplicated this sheet to kind of show what this would be individually as a run because like the first run looks pretty good but coming back from here it looks not as good right and that's because going up to the northeast pays well but coming back does not pay nearly as well because they know you're making a lot of money going up and it's there's far less back calls coming down right so ashland to elkton here right so the tolls were 169 bucks 169 driver same cost revenue 750 miles 397 day one so here we have a total cost of 847 dollars to net negative 97.7 which is not nearly as good as going up so Let's figure out our total for the two days together, right? So the total would be, let's say, for the whole trip, 169 in tolls, so 316 in tolls. The driver equals this times, let's just make times days. I'll change this to two days. So the driver is $700 during those days. Total revenue is equal to, let's just say, the sum of our revenues, right? Cool. The mileage is equal to the sum of the mileage, right? And it's two days there. So in a variable cost, just variable, no fixed cost, no cost of the truck, no cost of the insurance, the rent, you know, whatever you want to pay yourself after this is $2.22 a mile then the cost per day is 810 cents and the total cost is 1621. So basically, you know, after the trip up and back, we've made $528. So you can think of this as like, if you can keep your fixed cost over two days less than $528, so per day, you need to cover a fixed cost of this divided by two, 
of 264 bucks, um, then you will be profitable, right? So if your truck is like a hundred bucks, the insurance is like probably more, probably, like probably, you know, 50 bucks, hundred bucks. I could do another video on that, but this is what you need to cover in terms of all your fixed costs, your rent, your insurance, your pay, your house, your everything has to be covered by this. So it's a little rough. There's better ways to do it. This is why I recommend not using the load board for 100% of your work or trying to find something dedicated that's a little bit um, better, right? So this is kind of how you figure it out. Um, there's a plenty of other routes you can try, but this is like the methodology to figuring out, you know, whether or not it actually works in the first place, right? So calculate it, use something like Trucker Path to figure out your tolls. Um, because a lot of guys, like especially going out to Massachusetts area or New York or Long Island, uh, the tolls are very, very high, like 300, 400 bucks uh, round trip a lot of times. So uh, just be wary of that. New Jersey Turnpike, lots of tolls. So just make sure to stay on top of it. Use something similar to this calculator. Use Trucker Path. Calculate the stuff out. And then the more you do this, you can kind of get very, very fast with it. So like I know when I'm looking at the load board, I can tell like how much it's going to cost really before I even, you know, book the load essentially because I've just done the reps, done the calculations so many times. But that's basically it. Don't take, don't pay for crazy dispatching course. It's not worth it. This stuff is extremely simple. It's literally just, are you gonna calculate the tolls? Are you gonna do the math? Or are you gonna just blindly go forward and say, hopefully it works out? Because it will not. But <laughs> just to end on a nice note there. But you know, do your math, don't pay for a course, and learn it yourself. Thanks and uh, talk to you soon.